Hello my fellow movie addicts, today, we will do a recap on action, adventure, fantasy and thriller 2021 movie titled, Mortal Kombat. Warning. Heavy spoilers ahead. Japan, 1617, Hansel Hasashi is living peacefully in his compound with his wife Harumi and son Satoshi, as well as other members of the Shirai Ryu clan. As he goes to gather water, assassins from the Linkue clan, led by Bai Han invade and kill the other villagers. Bai Han goes to Hanzo's home to threaten his family with his ice powers. When he hears Harumi scream, he runs back to his home and finds her and Satoshi frozen to death. He can only briefly mourn before he must defend himself. Using his own blade, he fights off and slaughters the other assassins before going after Bai Han. The two fight heavily until Bai Han drives a blade deep into Hanzo's shoulder. He tells his killer to remember his face. Hanzo then hears the sound of his baby daughter crying in his home. He tries crawling toward the house, but he dies. We see a dragon-shaped mark on his arm before his body burns up and disappears. A bolt of lightning strikes, and out steps Master Raiden. He takes Hanzo's daughter with him to another realm. Text appears stating that Earthrealm is under threat of attack from Outworld, unless selected champions from the Hasashi bloodline can step forward. Jump ahead to the present day, where Cole Young is set to compete in an MMA fight, with only his wife Ali and daughter Emily to support him. During the fight, Cole gets in a few hits but is ultimately pinned down by his opponent. Despite Emily's attempts to lift her dad's spirits, Cole ultimately taps out before he is choked into unconsciousness. After the fight, Cole is approached by a man named Jax Briggs, who notices that Cole has a mark on his chest similar to the one seen on Hanzo. Cole dismisses it as nothing more than a birthmark. Meanwhile, Cole is also plagued by a vision of Hanzo surrounded by flames. In Outworld, Bai Han, now going by Sub-Zero, approaches his master, Shang Tsung, as they are making plans to overtake Earthrealm. They know that a descendant of Hanzo is alive, but Sub-Zero sees no threat. Cole and Ali take Emily out for dinner when it appears to start snowing despite being July. The table around Emily freezes, and Sub-Zero starts making his way down the street. He brings hail down on the people, but Cole gets Emily to safety. The family is saved by Jax, who drives them away and shows Cole that he has the same dragon marking on his body. Jax gets the youngs to safety and tells Cole to find Sonya Blade. Jax goes off to face Sub-Zero on his own, but the foe proves to be a real threat when he freezes Jax's gun before freezing and shattering both of his arms and leaving him for dead. Cole has Ali and Emily get somewhere safe while he seeks out Sonya. He tracks her down to a junkyard where she initially attacks him until Cole shows her the mark and says Jax sent him. Sonya brings Cole into her trailer where she explains to him that Sub-Zero has been after other people who bear the mark. Sonya doesn't have it, but Jax does after they came across a superpowered target that Jax fought who already had the mark, and after killing the man, the mark passed itself onto Jax. Sonya's research has led her to find out about an ancient tournament known as Mortal Kombat. Sonya has captured a ruthless mercenary named Kano, who also has the mark and worked for the Black Dragon clan. Moments later, Sonya's home is attacked by Shang Tsung's henchman, Reptile. The creature uses camouflage to attack, but Kano gets free and punches his fist through Reptile's chest, pulling out his heart. With her research destroyed in the attack, Sonya doesn't know what the next move is until Kano states that he knows she is trying to make it the Temple of Raiden, and he knows where it is. Sonya lies to Kano and offers him $3 million to help guide her and Cole to the location. They head off into the desert, where they are met by one of Raiden's champions, Liu Kang, who has fire abilities. He explains to them the urgency of defending Earthrealm, since they have lost nine of the Mortal Kombat tournaments, and one more loss means Shang Tsung can arrive to conquer it. Liu Kang shows that he has rounded up the remaining champions that he could, including Jax, who is still unconscious from his fight with Sub-Zero. Liu Kang assures Sonya that the other people working in the temple will do what they can do heal Jax. Liu Kang brings Cole, Sonya, and Kano to meet Raiden, who is unimpressed by them. Before they begin training, Shang Tsung arrives at the temple with Sub-Zero and his demonic henchwoman Melina. As Sub-Zero attacks Liu Kang, he is saved by his cousin, Kung Lao. Shang Tsung prepares his own attack, but Raiden steps out to remind him 
that it is forbidden to claim victory before the tournament has begun. He then creates a force field around the temple to prevent the outworld villains from continuing their attack, forcing them to leave. Liu begins to train the champions by helping them unlock their inner power, or arcana, which is why he has fire powers and Raiden has lightning powers. Sonya is not allowed to join the others because she is not one of the chosen champions. She goes to Jax's side, where he is awake, and discovers he has mechanical arms. Although he attempts to make use of them, he feels useless and weaker with them. Cole and Kano get their asses beat by Liu Kang and Kung Lao. Liu Kang tries to help Cole achieve his arcana by figuring out what it is that drives him. The fighters have dinner, where Kano runs his mouth too much, and Liu Kang and Kung Lao antagonize him by stating he is impulsive and powerless, making him an unworthy fighter. Kano snaps, which actually activates his arcana and causes him to fire a laser beam from his right eye. Cole later talks to Raiden about the dragon marking. Raiden explains to Cole that he is descended from Hanzo's bloodline, specifically from the baby that Raiden rescued in the beginning. He also tells Cole that the vision he sees is Hanzo wandering through hell, waiting for the day he can get his revenge on Sub-Zero. When Cole feels that he is not a worthy champion, Raiden opens the portal to send him back to Earthrealm to be with Ali and Emily. Shang Tsung gathers more fighters for his next attack, including the demon Natara, the monstrous prince Goro, the brutish Ryaiko, and the mercenary Cable, who has a personal grudge with Kano, since they used to work together with the Black Dragon clan, and Kano left Cable for dead, forcing him to wear his special new suit. Cable does also feel that Kano would be a good ally for Shang Tsung's army. Cable meets Kano at the temple and convinces him to defect and join forces with Shang Tsung. He uses his laser to destroy the force field. Shang Tsung and his minions attack the temple, while Goro goes after Cole and his family. In the attack, Sanya fights Melina, but the latter chooses not to kill Sanya because she is not a chosen one and feels her death would be a waste. Cable fights Liu Kang and overpowers him. Jax fights Ryaiko but is overpowered, and the brute knocks him and Sanya out before attempting to crush them under a boulder. Jax tries to lift the boulder off Sanya, which helps him find his arcana and causes the arms to grow in size and strength. Natara swoops down for an attack. But Kung Lao fights her and performs a fatality by using his metal hat as a buzzsaw, slicing Natara in half down the middle, flawless victory. Meanwhile, Goro is laying Cole into the dirt until he starts to make his way toward Ali and Emily. Feeling the need to protect his family, Cole's arcana is unlocked, with his body being covered in golden armor and allowing him to create blades to help him fight Goro, first slicing off one of his forearms and then impaling him through the eyes to kill him. Raiden senses this and summons Cole back to the temple, revealing his bloodline to Shang Tsung and Sub-Zero. Raiden prepares to bring the champions to the void for protection, but Shang Tsung grabs Kung Lao and sucks his soul out, killing him and forcing Liu Kang to watch. Liu Kang mourns his cousin, while the rest of the heroes try to figure out a strategy for fighting Shang Tsung's forces. Raiden presents Cole with Hanzo's kunai that was recovered after his death, and he encourages Cole to use it. Cole decides that they should take on the villains in the style of a tournament. Raiden teleports the champions to take on their respective opponents. Jax is sent to fight Ryaiko with his new arms. Although Ryaiko tries to bring Jax down with his warhammer, Jax disarms him and uses his arms to turn Ryaiko's head into paste. Sanyu is sent back to her trailer to fight Kano, which ends with her impaling him through his eye, and his marking is passed down to her. As Cole is fighting Melina, Sonya comes to help and uses her newfound arcana powers to fire a plasma beam from her arms to blast a hole through Melina's stomach. Liu Kang faces Cable again and uses his own fatality, a fire dragon move that consumes Cable and burns him to a crisp. Sub-Zero goes to Earthrealm and finds Ali and Emily, where he freezes them alive. Cole is summoned to fight Sub-Zero, but the villain proves to overpower him. When Cole's blood touches the kunai, this brings Hanzo back from hell, where he is revived as Scorpion. He returns to battle his nemesis with Cole's help. Scorpion uses his heat to revive Ali and Emily, before managing to trap Sub-Zero and use his own fire powers to burn Sub-Zero to death. Before going back, Scorpion thanks Cole for freeing him and asks him to keep his bloodline alive. Shang Tsung appears once more to retrieve the bodies of his fighters, meaning they may be brought back to life, but Raiden banishes him back to Outworld. 
Raiden then tells his champions that they are victorious, but they must gather more fighters for when Shang Tsung plans his next attack. Cole is at the gym where he normally fights and tells the promoter he is finally quitting and going to Hollywood. When asked what's in Hollywood, Cole says not what. Who? The camera then pans over to show who Cole is looking for. Superstar fighter Johnny Cage. Thank you for viewing our movie recapped. I hope you have enjoyed watching our videos. Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Click the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload our next videos.